Hello guys! Welcome back to Gypsy Rose Papery. I have another unboxing video for you and it's your creative studio. She offered to send me the July box which I believe is still available on her website which I will link down below. So we'll just jump right in. She very nicely labeled it July. I'm gonna have some ASMR here. And if you didn't watch the other unboxing, it was epic. She had some really good stuff in there. So definitely go check that out. I'll put it up here. That way you guys can go and click on that after you're done watching this. So as always, it's packaged beautifully. And that's her card. And then maybe I can kind of like lift it out. Let's do that. Uh oh, spoiler alert. All right. So I used this paper, this tissue paper, and the spread that I did with her June kit. And you can find that on my Instagram. I didn't film an actual video for it. Um, because it was very sort of like a spur of the moment type thing and I just quickly whipped out my camera or my phone rather because that's what I film on and I just filmed it as I went along so that can be found on my Instagram and again I will link it so let's see what we've got going here and then let's make sure as always that we are in frame so we had this little binder clip very vintage and worn looking so maybe that's a clue as to our kit and I feel like these kits are super fun because it's kind of like uh like a mystery type well it is kind of like a mystery box because you don't know what's in here but I think like as you go along it's kind of like a little puzzle that you're putting together like what is the theme here so these are our first clues and so we have little these look like washi stickers and you can see them there hopefully let's see yeah so uh i'm just gonna tip it to me so i can see uh so it looks like vintage type so old-timey bicycles and carriages and sort of like victorian type uh people or people dressed in victorian garb so i don't well, let's go ahead and take it out so that way we can really take a look here. So they're very um, sort of transparent, so definitely washi stickers, but that's like what we're working with here. And we have an Alice. Who doesn't love a Rackham Alice? And for those of you that have no clue what I'm talking about, this is uh, the Alice in Wonderland created by Arthur Rackham. The illustration rather, or the embodiment of what Alice would look like. And Arthur Rackham is one of my favorite artists. Oh, my little shoe won't come back. There we go. So we'll put these back because this is the kind of stuff that will get lost easily um, if you leave it in my hands because I I don't do well with little bits. <laughs> I have to keep them in the original packaging. And then we have ooh some stamps. These are really cool. Kind of like little notepads and little binder clips. And it gives you instructions on how to go ahead and mount those so that you can use them. And then the cute little like plastic little pouch which you could probably use for other stuff later on so that's cool we have another binder clip there and then here we have little bits of ephemera so they're very sort of kind of like scrapbooky feeling but not like quite cardstock but very thick and there's different designs here. Let's quickly, that's really cute. So, just little bits of paper. 
that you could use to collage with or write your little message on or do your journaling on, what have you. Look at me already messing up. Put you in there. And these are transparent stickers and they're sort of botanical, which I love. This looks like, kind of like lavender, I wanna say, and rosemary maybe. Um, I'm not sure, but that's what that looks like. And then we have a vintage notepad. Really pretty paper, distress looking, like coffee or tea stained sort of. So very cool. I hope you don't mind watching me put everything back like a crazy person. Uh, another little notepad. This one is cute. It looks like a like a binder, like an old timey binder type and it's all the same paper this is actually a sticky note so let's do this let's take a sticky note can we get one out oh i just ripped it i'm such a i'm just not <laughs> cut out for dainty things here here let's take one out here there we go this is very strong adhesive i'm gonna stick it to this notepad here and you know how usually like sticky notes will fall right off not this one shaking it pretty hard that's it's on there um so good quality sticky notes you probably won't even have to use any kind of glue really very strong and this one i'll use it for my work <laughs> when i take notes oops leave those there and then here we have some washi, a little packaging. So let's see what this looks like. It's like a nice big piece so we can get the full feel. So again with that, I'm getting a vintage ephemera vibe. So like old timey papers, old timey imagery. So very cool. I'm already formulating ideas for a journal thread just by going through these. And what I like about these kits, and again, I'm, this is not, this is my own like personal opinion. Like I'm not part of a design team for your creative studio. She's really just been super, super nice and has asked if she could send me her kits but what i like about these type of kits even though i've never like this is the first time i've had like a journaling kit like this um i've bought kits before for like planner type things um but i feel like this really sort of gets your creative juices flowing which helps me because lately the well runneth dry <laughs> like i am I, I have been not really making journals now for quite a few months and I still don't feel like I can. I just don't have it in me. But this, seeing all these bits together, kind of like how they fit together and seeing themes um, kind of laid out in this way with different types of materials and ephemera um, really helps. So. I can show you quickly, actually, the last spread I did, because I have my little book right here, or rather my journal, I shouldn't call it a little book, it's nothing, there's nothing little about it, um, but this is the, the spread that I made with her other kit, and hopefully that's all in frame. Um, but it really did help. This took me literally less than 10 minutes and it really helped me sort of flesh out an idea that I had. 
So uh, again, not officially sponsored at all by your creative studio, but I see the value in these types of kits definitely ever since I started getting hers. Um, but that's enough of me rambling. Um, here we have another beautiful stamp. This is very, very nice and detailed. I really like this. And I think for this one, I'll do a proper like journal with me type video, I think, as opposed to a quickie Instagram. Another really pretty binder clip stamp, like an antique Victorian type. Oh, hold on. There's another one in here. Oh, this one is super cute. This one is like a stamp, like a really fancy stamp handle. So yeah, I'll try to do like a proper video. More binder clips. And then finally, we have sort of like this vellum paper, which was also in the other box. I really like this one. Really pretty. So yeah. Oh well, I'm just I'm just butterfingers today. So that is it for the kit. I feel like you get a lot because there's several stamps. I mean, we've gotten a stamp set, two smaller stamps, and then a big one. You get washi, you get washi stickers, you get notepads, you get paper, you even get hardware. So this is oh, one of my hairs there. So this is like a really like good little kit if you ask me um, and now I have to find a way to neatly put this back together without it falling everywhere but yeah that's it for the unboxing I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys will go check her out and hopefully I will have that journal with me video sooner than later um, but yeah, leave me any questions or comments down in the description box. I do read all the comments. I may not be always able to answer everybody, um, but please know that I do, do read every single comment that comes through. And I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by. I love you so much, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!